welcome back to my channel. So uh, today I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me on this look right here, as you guys can tell. And I use this bad boy right here. It has been a while. So we're going to be using this. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. And I will see you guys soon. And thanks again for watching. Okay, so I'm going to do a get ready with me today. Um, I'm just setting all my stuff out, getting ready to put my hair up because, you know. Anyway, so I'm doing a get ready with me today. Um, and I figured I would use the Sweet Peach Palette. I haven't used this in a long time. Only I use the Jaclyn Hill Palette, but I am waiting to get another one because mine had gotten stolen um, when my house was broken too. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Um, so, let's jump right in and get to it. So first thing first, take the glasses off. Can't see a thing. If you guys see me looking over here, if you've already been through this with, with me on my channel, I put my mirror here. And I'm sorry you guys can't see, but I can't see without my glasses. I've really been thinking about getting contacts. Um, I just haven't decided yet. I'm still debating. I don't think I look so weird without contacts. But yeah. First thing I'm going to apply is the Urban Decay Hot Springs Hydrating Gel. I love this, and I've been having actually, sorry, I've been having issues right in here. I think I've talked about this before, right in here, and then right on my nose. I've been having really bad issue and texture, so I have actually, I have actually been laying off the makeup for a while because I've been trying to get that clear. But, as you can tell, it doesn't go away. No matter how many times I wash my face, how many masks I put on, anything like that. And, yeah. So, we're going to put this in. This in. <laughs> this, this on. We're going to rub this in. And you go down your neck, it's fine. What I normally do just to give that extra, I really concentrate on right here because this is my most problem area. Sorry if you guys hear stuff, my window is open. It's such a pretty day out. It's like 76 and it's sunny and it's so pretty. So, the other day, um, if you guys um, watched my vlog, I did get my eyebrows done, and I haven't gotten them done in such a long time, probably over a year. I've been tweezing them, and I hate tweezing them, and my school, um, for taking a tour, actually gives you a $30 gift certificate. Um, gives you a $30 gift certificate. So that's what um, I went for and used my gift certificate to get my hair cut um, and thinned out. And then um, I got my brows done. And they look so good. Um, I might just have to tweeze right here a little bit more, like right, right here on the inner part. But yeah, I love it. So, the way I prime my eyes, it's up to you on how you want to do it. I use concealer to prime my eyes, and I use the, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is my go-to concealer. I do want to get the Shape Tape. I'm going to get it when I get my refund in the fall. I want to get some of these all-time things, not all time things, but everyone, that everyone's already <laughs> jumping on trend for. And you guys can see a difference already. I can see a major difference. I don't have the dark circles. I don't, you can barely see my bags anymore, which is such a great thing. And I never really noticed it. Like I said, I have been really tired here lately. Um, so I have bags and dark circles galore.
But anyway, I went to my school that I start next month and um, got an eyebrow eyebrow wax done. That is something I will be learning, which I'm super excited for. Oh, I look better already. So then, <laughs> this isn't an honest thing um, container. It is the Laura Mercier setting powder. Um, but I just put it in this because um, it was just a sample of uh, Sephora. Normally with Sephora, I just end up buying buying everything online, which is great. Um, but with me living in an apartment complex, it's kind of hard because um, they don't deliver to the actual apartment. They deliver to the office. Well, the people, the property manager and stuff, so we have a temporary one right now, is not in the office until um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I wouldn't even get my package until then, which is bogus. So I normally just have everything sent to my mom's house which works. My mom's fine with it. Um, she likes it because it brings me out there a little bit more um, cool. But I haven't been buying anything recently because I have been super busy like I said with school, or not school, but with getting stuff ready for school and everything. It's been crazy. There you go. Okay. But, anyway, I'm going to take my Sweet Peach palette. This is, like, literally, I don't smell any more hardly. I don't know if maybe I just need to just blend it or, like, play with it to get it smelling good again. Maybe. But I'm going to take the shade Peaches and Cream right here. Right there. I'm trying not to blind you guys. Right there. This and that. Yeah. You guys don't have to I'm just going to put that in the crease. It's going to be a Too Faced day. <laughs> I'm using this, and then I have, oh no, it's Benefit, never mind. I'm going to put that all over the crease, and that's the outer corner. Blend, circular motions, windshield wiper motions. Just a quick little base. Like I said, I haven't used this palette in so long, because I got my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I absolutely loved it. I was using the 35U palette. Um, I haven't used it for quite some time. I was going to do a look on the 80s look that I did that we did for um, work. But when I went to go use it, my palette's gone. So not only did they take my Jaclyn Hill palette, but they also took my Morphe 35U palette. And those were my two favorite palettes. Why is recording? Okay, got it. I guess I should have went in with this. Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't pieces of cream. It was nectar. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go in with candied peach. Just dab it in there. Tap, that, tap the excess off. And just put it right there in the crease again. Mainly focus on the outer crease. And just slightly bring it in. And what I have been doing is just bringing it so lightly down onto the lid. It's such a pretty color. Perfect for summer. 
summer and spring. I really want to do a Facebook Live as I'm getting ready. Not a Facebook Live, but a um, Instagram Live. So if you guys are like interested in something like that, I know a lot of people do it. Um, leave a comment down below, and I will do it. The next color I'm going to take is just peachy, which is this color right here, and I'm going to really get into that color. Your brush should be pink like that. Now the peach is coming back, yeah. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. This is how I wore my eyeshadow for the longest time. This was like my go-to everyday palette. My towel here. I'm going to go back in with that nectar and switch in with that peaches and cream. That peaches and cream is a matte shade. I'm just going to go through and make sure that's blended out to make sure there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going to take a damp flat brush and this is the one that I normally take for when I am doing any type of like metallic and I'm just going to spray. You can use Max Fix Plus, you can use water, you can use anything. I'm using the Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I try not to use that but I am currently out of my other. Um, just whatever you got handy really. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get, I think I used the wet part before on this and it's not wanting to. ColourPop has a similar, this is Bellini, by the way, um, a similar color, so if you wanted to, you could put that on top of it. That would be really pretty as well. And I think I might actually end up doing that, because this isn't being metallic as I like. It's kind of looking chunky. But it has been a while since I've used these shadows. So that's probably why. And I've had this palette for quite a while. <laughs> um, I should really read on the on the packaging when it expires because So that's it that I'm using from the peach palette. Still one of my favorite palettes there is. I will probably be buying, purchasing a second one. Don't mind this. I don't know what this is. I don't know where it came from. So don't mind it. So the ColourPop color I was talking about was Twitter Painted. And I freaking love that name because of freaking... Bambi. If you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment down below and let me know what I'm talking about. Oh, 
was so pretty. Who is excited for the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collab on the vault? I am super excited. I am hopefully getting it. Super excited. Okay, so since that is done, I'm going to go back in. No products on this brush and just go in and make sure everything is blended. And then I'm going to take, sorry, the Stila Liquid Eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner, and I'm going to line just no wing, no nothing. I'm just going to do a simple straight line just to give the lashes a little definition. I feel like I always do my left eye better than my right eye. That's done, then I'm going to take my roller lash mascara. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with my foundation, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And I'm not one to go matte, but I have been using a lot more matte products because of my job, because it is oily. I'm just going to take a damp beauty sponge. I'm going to set, take this setting spray and put it on my 
fine. And then I'm just going to take my flat top brush and just just to go over, make sure everything's blended out. I like applying the foundation with the, the sponge and then going back over it with the brush just to make sure everything is blended out. Take my concealer don't want to go too heavy because I really don't have I have dark circles but when I concealed before you guys could tell a difference I'm just going to go and hit the spots where I need it highlighted Gonna take my pointy end of the sponge and blend that out. Put it on my nose because right now I am very hormonal because Aunt Flo decided to uh, visit and so. So I am hormonal as fuck. So I want to get around where it's going to be. Where all the red spots are going to end up being. So like around your nose, places like that. Letting that, I'm going to go ahead and take my lip scrub from Splush. I'm going to let that work. I'm going to take my setting powder I will say what's nice about Lush's lip scrub, Naked's lip scrub is <laughs> it does taste good and you can just lick it right off, which, I mean, you're eating your dead skin, but. Now that spot that I was talking about, right here, is very sensitive. And since I put the concealer and the foundation on it, it is on fire. As you guys can, if you guys can tell, I'm putting away as soon as I'm finishing using it. 
because that's just who I was raised to be. Okay. So next we're going to go in with <coughs> our contour. Well, not our contour. I, I just bronze. I don't like contouring all that well. And I don't really know how. I'm going to take uh, this shade right here, and as you can tell, I hit pan. So, well, let me find that. Until my cats have been up. I'm going to bronze up the face, warm it up a little bit. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush if I can find one. I guess I can use the same settings on this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to take the very edge. I'm just going to bronze my nose a little bit. Just a little bit, not too much. And then very, very lightly, that was my contour brush. Very lightly, I'm going to go into this shade right here. And just very lightly, not too much. Where are these cuts? Go into the blush maybe a couple times. Get the excess off, and then rub it out. Okay, so there is that. So next, we're going to go in with that peach palette again. I don't know why I put it away. We're actually going, I'm going to take the 24-7 Glow Light on Eye Pencil in Perversion from Urban Decay. And I'm going to line that waterline. This is one of my favorite. my favorite eyeliner. And I'm going to take my little definer brush. I'm going to go in with this candy peach. I'm going to smoke out. Take that and highlight my brow. to hit the inner part of my eye. Normally I use white right here, but yeah, like I said, I got wrong. 
I took my Jaclyn Hill palette. That was my favorite highlighter. And then I'm going to take my highlighting brush. Forehead, might add a little more to the cheek, just for an extra glow, you know. I need to buy another champagne pop. Okay, so that is it for the face. The face. Going to spritz. The Maybelline Born With It. Lipstick. I'm going to go in with NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. I'll put that. And voila! This completes this look, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've done the Sweet Peach palette, and it's still one of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoy, and don't forget to hit that um, subscribe button, and don't also don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date with my videos. I hope you guys enjoy. I love you, and I will see you guys in my next video.